Hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Maid. So what's happening today? Well today we are going to be building what is called a universal a USD. A universal something dock. <laughs> universal standard dock? I don't know. It's with the Star Squadron server fellows and so on this ship, since I'm deeming this ship to be a political ship, it's going to have a docker on either side here. So, to start the process off, we're going to kind of put a plane of symmetry in place. And so, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to build this docker on camera here, so you kind of see what's going to happen. I have it laid out a bit as to the design and stuff. So basically, if the door is right here, or is going to be right here, then all we need to do is we need to put your two components to this. We need to put a rail docker which needs to be pointing to the right hand side on the left of the door here when you're looking at it. So this is looking towards the center and then the other we need to put a regular dock as this and so that way when you're looking at it to lock on you go poof and I put the camera in behind this so that way then we have access to looking out the sides so that way we can match up 100% because precision is key. And for defense here, we're going to add some of these blocks here. I think they look cool. And we're just going to kind of add a red kind of public dock so that way we know kind of, or other people know where they can dock in with on our massive, well, it's not that massive, but I think on our runabout ship here, which is a good kind of exploration you craft with warp drive so has a storage capacity on there so your missions can be accomplished and yes and yeah, everything can be advanced in the service of the Demurian Empire so let's see we want to position this like that okay I just don't like how it does that okay there we go so we got one like that oh we got one like that and I think one more like that perfect so it's kind of like our universal stand or a universal standard dock or whatever it is i should really learn what that is <laughs> i'm just butchering it but that's okay so yeah so i actually like that red standing out against the the black that's awesome and then i like the light that way now i just need to put something in place here or maybe outside here there'll be a force field not too sure Maybe put a door here in a force field. I might have a force field, actually. If not, then I think it's back in our base, so I'll probably do that after. Yeah, when we get back to the base, because we, we will have to make our way back. And do I actually have... Do you have plex doors? Do I want plex doors or blast doors? Let's see what the blast doors look like. So let's put that... Oh, crystal composite. Where are we? Blast doors. I thought I had you. So let's put those in. Let's try this. Let's put the blast door in. Actually, that's not too shabby. Should I have blast door all the way just because it's on the outside? And this will open up to the inside, which then there's a plex door with glass. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. That, that looks reasonable. Too bad I can't have like a black color of these instead of... You know, I wish there was other colors of these blast doors. Maybe one day. So yeah, so here we go. And then on this side, we have the same... Oh, actually, we don't have the same thing happening. If you notice, because we used the mirror, so I think we should actually unset that. We'll have to correct this here, because I forgot this rail docker needs to be on the left-hand side. So let's actually... Oh, I thought... Where did the camera go? There should have been a camera that went on this side. Hmm. That's strange. We need to lighten this up so I can see... So let's put a camera in place. Or did we forget to put the camera down? I thought I'd put the camera in. Maybe not. Maybe I forgot about the camera. We'll have to check the other side. Oh yes, this is the mistakes I make on camera. Because that's what happens. Let's see here. Let's actually rotate this to be proper. And let's rotate this to be proper as well. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the other side here. Okay, let's actually, yeah, no, I didn't put the camera in there. Okay, so I forgot because I, yeah, I don't know why. So we put that in place there, and then we'll put the rail docker 
like so. Come on, come on. Turn it around. Oh, there we go. I did have it. Bang. Okay, there we go. So now we got a universal something dock. <laughs> USD. Oh, man. That's so funny. And so now we need to add details onto our ship. I don't know if I want to add the details kind of like on the surface. So if we take a look at the red advanced armor, you see how we can do slabs. We can make them very th thin as well. And I was thinking with these slabs, you could do something like this. Uh, we can actually extend it out past a bit. I think that kind of looks cool. And then you could almost do an effect like this. Or it's a little bit thicker and then you can do like oops I mean, you can do like this actually yeah let's do that together this is kind of the idea i had for the outside of this ship uh what's wrong with the front here oh there's something missing oh look at that i completely forgot about that do we have stuff what well, we do so we need to fill up the middle of this i don't know why we didn't get that before oh yeah see there's the slab there Let's do this, and let's actually put this stuff in all the way down in here. I didn't even realize this this cavity was here, this hole into the abyss of my ship. Okay, and one more, and then we'll put this in place like so. There we go. That's a little bit better defense. Okay. Whew, I was worried. Okay, so what I had in mind... Let's put the plane of symmetry in place. Okay. So now, if we go back to what we were doing here. So this is kind of what I was going to do. I was going to start thin and then get thicker. So maybe kind of like this. Like this. One, two, maybe three blocks out. I don't want too much because I just want to see what it looks like. Then I was going to go thicker. Oh, wait. Thicker. One, two. It's the same kind of thing. Don't know if I wanted to go one more out or not, so we'll just keep it like that. Then I was going to go maybe one more slab, kind of to like a big thickness. Alright, just so going to make it the same. And then maybe... Oh. Okay. Maybe I can do the same thickness here and then we can do a thinner slab here again do you see what I'm getting at <laughs> and then a thinner slab right here one two and this will be the longer one three four five so that's kind of what I was thinking uh, maybe a little bit too low on that one I'm not too sure you maybe even get rid of the middle ones like that, so you kind of have it looking like that. I'm not sure why I would do something like that. I don't know if that looks good. That actually looks small for the ship. Might have to extend it kind of further. Oops. Might have to extend it kind of further back. So kind of like this. Maybe to make it kind of somewhat decent. Oops. Let's see, somewhat like that. And then if we thicken it up. Perfect. And it's the same up top there. And then say we then make it thicker again. And this is this side. So let's kind of see what this looks like. Now remember, this won't be as bright. So if we turn off light and... Yeah, I just don't know how that looks. It kind of juts out too much might be overdoing it we'll have to leave that like that because that's a kind of a design element down here we'll do the other design element I was thinking of so there's that aspect to it then there's this aspect where instead of actually doing anything we simple oh I should do that when I need full size we could change the size of them as well but instead of that we do kind of like this. Let's see how far do we go. Okay, and then maybe maybe we can put in a number. You know, so maybe like a 
Maybe like this. I think this would be enough. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. And then we need to do a one. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I don't know. You can kind of make out of those ones. That's the other kind of design element I had. I'm leaning towards this bottom, the bottom one. That's backwards. <laughs> oh, mirror mode, I love you. That's so awesome. I obviously would have to turn off mirror mode for that. Yeah, we could do that. And maybe a mix of both, right? Maybe we could put thin slabs of this stuff in, like, pockets. Kind of make them look like armor plating. So something like like this let's see can we do it with these no we can't okay only these kind we can do is so say we had like thin thin slabs right so what i was thinking is we could maybe do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i don't know let's think of kind of like this and then i was just thinking of kind of having these random kind of size looking ooh what how did that happen oh we ran out of blocks okay let's buy some red advanced armor buy amount 500 okay that's been happening we, i've been running out of blocks okay perfect so we put that like that and then maybe we'll have another slab that's kind of thicker. Yes, we're, it's mirror mode, and I'm going to keep it just so we can kind of see what this looks like. And then we can also have slabs like that that kind of add a little bit of character to the ship. We can also add kind of funky designs to it like this, all right? and then say we could then kind of make the next ones around thinner right and then we could of course have the thinnest size go around that oops like so, so then you kind of have a different kind of looking armor pad thing then you could kind of put almost like raise up another block and you can put a turret in the middle of that, a turret mount. So we'll see about that. Back here kind of you was deciding on doing the same thing. If we look at our speed, you notice our speed is down. I'm going to have to add in some more thrusters into the ship before it's completely sealed up. Um, but we also need to test the, the shield capacity and that's kind of why you're here now for the rest of this video. So if we go into our map here. Now, how do we find things to shoot at, okay? So we need to go to one of these stations, basically. So I'm going to fly out to this station out here. If we can double-click on it and, and, and nothing else. Okay, I think this is in the same sector. We plot a path to current. Okay, we go into flight mode, which we then we do a rotation, which is stupid. Let's go into our front thingy here this is our main kind of view but then we usually zoom it out for transport am i hitting the thing okay no, i'm not i don't think i am okay okay let's shove off and let's head towards our destination we're going to throw the radar jammer on because we're going to jump drive there and let's let's not go at too fast of a rate let's warp there and start charging right away Okay, where are we? Whoa, okay. Now, what exactly are we flying past? We just need to get hit. So let's keep charging. Oh, yes. Let's see what happens if something hits us, right? You know what? <laughs> let's charge up our, our things. And with a radar jammer. Oh, yeah, those are ships imagine okay cool cool slowing down might be death but let's actually go map let's go back to oh no oh man it's going to that star 
in behind. So let's go plot path to current. And let's make sure we're fully charged up so that way we can jump out of here quickly. Now, what is it shooting at? Isanth. These are all Isanths. Okay, let's slow down here a bit. Jump drive is fully charged. We have... Let's, let's test out these bad boys. All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, do, do, do. And if we f fire, ooh, power is drained, but not completely. Now, they do go quite the, the distance. So let's actually see if we can catch up. When we're not using our thrusters, we're charging. When we do, we don't quite charge, but I think that's okay. Oh, did I hit the Isanth? We launch another volley. So as long as we're, I think, full capacity, I think we should be okay. We are at 100% shields here. Oh, are those mine. Those are, okay, under fire. Okay, and we fire again. Oh, I see. And now we fired. Can't stand still. Looks like the shields are behaving quite fine. And I wish I had sound effects for all this stuff, but it, obviously I don't. I'm waiting for... Okay, so the lock locks in before the charge. That's awesome. And let's fire. Fire another volley. Let's see here. I wonder if those are my missiles or if they're firing on their own base. Okay, we're under fire. Oh, already overheating. Nice, nice. Now let's go after this Isanth. Nice. And then if we fire. Okay, now we're... Where's that overheating one going? Hmm. Oh, so is that us getting hit, basically? I think so, but the shields are holding up. So I think we might be quite well equipped for all this stuff. There you go, there's an Isanth. Let's go check out this bad boy. See, they always go so far away. I don't know why that is, but... It's almost like it's, it's, it's flying around trying to hit each other. And you almost have to get close pirates see how close can we get makes me wonder if the base is firing on itself too oh, what is that is that a rock no 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 it's the something overheating pirate station pirate station delta I'm gonna try and get close to these bad boys so we can see what they look like let's kind of zoom in to the front here I'm gonna try and change our course here. It's shooting at something there. Come on, Mr. Isanth. I don't even see my missiles going. I don't even know if they're able to make the speed. Let's see here. Trying to trying to get in front of it. Ah, something's hitting it. So it's not like it's not getting hit. I don't think I always get a visual representation. That time I did. But see, you only see a few when you know that there's more missile bays and we're not damaged. Are we hitting the bad boy? Yeah, come on. Come on. Try and stay in front of it. And see, I don't see no, no missiles. Oh, bang! There we go. There we go. There's your goodness. There's your goodness. I want it. I want it. Give me your stuff. Give me your stuff. Where is it? Where is it? I thought we saw it all here. Oh, come on. Okay, well, anyways, so this guy is overheating. So, yeah, so these are... These are awesome. So we know we can handle them. Not a big deal. So can we handle the base? I've never tried that. And I know the turning is terrible in this, but okay, we don't want that anymore. Where is the base? There's all pirates there. Pirates. 
pirates. Let's check this out. There's a lot of pirates everywhere here, though. Wow. Now, are they all firing on their own thing? Like, pirate station. But, yeah. These guys. Like, these guys are, like, fighting their own. Such a strange, strange scene here. Is it because of my radar thing? Oh, it's a lot of bullets. Are those bullets or those? How close can we get to this thing? Look at that. It's almost down shields and stuff, though. What happens if we fire upon it? Woo! Uh-oh. Right, we're watching your shields. Our warp drive is... Okay. We need to let our shields... Or not shields, but we need to let our things charge. I want to kind of fly near it because it's like it's overheating. Or maybe those are the turrets. Pirate Station Delta. Just got to keep an eye out on the... On this stuff. Okay, now let's see if we can fire. Ooh, maybe. Maybe we should be able to take this out. Huh. Yeah, we are under fire, but everything's still functioning. Everything is still... Okay, let's see here. Boom, we fire again. Yeah, it looks like we can do this, however many hours of work that this will take. But it looks like it's possible. It looks like they're shooting their own stuff too, though, which is kind of funny, actually. So if we let that charge up, we're actually almost stopped here. Hmm. I wonder if it's, if it's my radar jammer or... Let's see here, and uh, let's let's fire. Oh, boom, bang, ouch! <laughs> oh man, is that the main main base portion? What happens if we knock that out with the help of all these pirates here? And then we'll have to, of course, take out the pirates. I think. Oh yeah, look at that. I thought I had it aimed at the middle, but see that pattern? See how it... Yeah, no, it was under fire, but didn't do much. Man, but yeah, this is it. So it looks like we're we're worthy of combat against Pirate Station. So that's pretty awesome. So why am I targeting the middle? And it's... That's interesting. Now it's just a matter of the central base, I think. Kind of get closer to it here. We're very close to it. <laughs> and if we just fire upon it, it still wants to hit everything. That's interesting. Don't have I don't have precision with these ones. Let's see here. Let's get close. Yo, hello dude. Yeah, we're pretty much stopped up here. We're enjoying the view. Hey bra. Hey bra. I wonder if we could even crash the party by going into it. Boom. We still got a lot of armor. Interesting. Interesting kind of looking base. I'd love to kind of take the stuff apart and do all that. Okay, so yeah. So this works. So let us make sure we are en route to where we're supposed to go. Let's see here. And let's warp there. Bang. Awesome. Okay. Let's make sure we slow down here. Whoa. While well, we're recharging. So yeah, so that worked out good. So I feel good now in, in this ship. I feel good that we're able to kind of gain control of our sector. And we're going to have to do some cleansing of the sector. We're going to have to clear out all those kind of nasty pirates. All that fun stuff. That's a rock. Oh, space station derelict. Nice. I'm glad I can see far away as well. That's pretty awesome. So they've definitely done some optimizations, it seems, to Star Made. But hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. It might be rather long, but hey, I had fun recording it. You got to see kind of a, a taste of combat and 
a few successes and whatnot. And so, yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to see that you know, this ship that I thought up of is actually functioning as expected. Man, who would have thought? Who would have thought that I would be able to design a neat looking ship? Now, it might pale in comparison to a lot of the other ships, but hey, it's the best with what I was able to build without it looking too much like a sausage and with it at least kind of being able to handle combat. And let's just take one kind of. I wish I could figure out how to detach the view so I could kind of rotate it around. I haven't been able to figure that one out. But yeah, but thank you everybody for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!